Christchurch still remembers when William visited the city in the weeks after the earthquake. What he saw then made a deep impression on him, and today he brought his wife to see how the city is rebuilding itself. 185 people died in the earthquake. William and Catherine met some of the bereaved families and took part in a moment of remembrance. They were moving encounters, William said later. The whole experience, he said, had been a reminder of the city's resilience. Then a change of mood. In this sports-mad country, and in a city which will be one of the centres for the Cricket World Cup next year, a game of cricket. Taking the crease in high heels, Catherine. Taking aim with the ball, William. The first delivery was a full toss. Kate ducked, the crowd gasped. It had all the makings of a rerun of last week's yacht race in Auckland Harbour, a husband and wife giving no quarter in their competitive rivalry. Kate survived three more deliveries before retiring not out, honours divided. The crowd had loved it. Without getting into all the arguments for and against the monarchy here, it can fairly be said that the visit has amounted to a significant success for them. Over the past week, William, Kate, and not forgetting baby George, certainly appear to have endeared themselves to this country. In coming days, we will see whether they can do the same in Australia. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News, in Christchurch.